Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video, Spidering Designers. Today, we are diving into the world of graphic design with Canva. Join me on this beginner journey as we explore the fundamentals and learn how to create eye-catching or binary posters that captivate your audience and drive registrations. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So first of all guys, let's talk about web binder and what does it mean. So a web binder is short for web-based seminar. is an online presentation, meeting or workshop that allows individuals or group to interact in real time. Now let me show you first some kind of designs that we could find on Canva or create using Canva during today's videos. So, have all of these different kind of designs that are basically standing for web binders. Now, to make one, for example, such as that one, it's very, very simple, especially using Canva. First of all, I'm going to show you how to create one using the template, and then if we have time, of course, we can explain to you how we can make one from scratch. So, first thing first is to go ahead and simply search for webinar within Canva. As you can see, there we go. Mention guys, that now I am using Canva Pro for this specific video. Now here, as you can see, we have thousands of designs that are matching the vibe of these designs as well. For example, the best one here, there is this one, there is that one, there is a lot of them in here, for example, this one, and yeah, there is a lot of designs. Let's go for example and start with designing this one, and let's try to make it something similar to anything we want, or let's redesign it as we want. So first of all, let's say for example that our template is not really based on colors of purple. So what we're going to do is to change colors to something else. For example, here, I'm going to select this one, which are the headers and the bottoms of the page. So here, first of all, let's click on, uh, first of all, the colors, and I'm going to choose something else. So let's choose, for example, this color here. As you can see, depending on what I'm selecting, the colors are actually pretty much going to be changing uh, uh, as I click on any literally any color so here i'm going to exchange them to be matching for example this guy's color so this is pretty cool and i'm going to change this one as well so yeah something similar like that here i'm going to change that to be something like so something like that and finally something like that and as you see already we have changed a dozens of colors within the picture we need to change this one as well so i'm just going to click for example on this color and we have changed the text here i'm going to change the color of the stroke to be matching our vibe and as you can see it's very very easy and very editable as you can see here i'm going to change these ones as well let me just click on this image and yeah, we have now this pretty cool design, which we can literally remove things that we don't need, such as uh, these things. We can keep this live, for example, here, or keep it right there. We can even change the date of our meeting. For example, here we are now in 2024, so let's change it to that. The timing we say, for example, at uh, like, let's say 7 a.m. <laughs> too early in the morning, and ticket price, let's say it's free. So free and as you can see this is basically a simple webinar that we have created just using their templates now you might ask me what about these images what well, well because guys this is pretty easy to be changed so let me show you how you can change it so first of all you can find here duplicate so for now I'm just gonna get like a random image from somewhere so let me just do that for example, guys, as you can see, I have this anime girl. So what I'm going to do is basically, I'm going to go ahead and click on this anime picture and I'm going to drag it on the top of this image. So simply just by dragging it, the picture itself has been changed. So let me just zoom in for you guys. As you can see, the image 
has been changed so make sure that color sometimes will change as well make sure to keep them the same vibe and we can do the same thing now so let's for example download Missy's picture so I'm gonna here Missy and let's get whatever image of Missy for example this one uh, that one and what I'm gonna do exactly is the same thing grab the image put it right here and I'm going to simply Move the image of Messi into the section of the image and as you can see it's very very doable now you can see the picture everything has been changed make sure that everything is done and once you feel like this image is perfect for you simply click on share and click on download make sure the size is GPG not PNG choose the perfect size for you it could be whatever size you think of and of course here the quality make sure to make it a hundred since we have pro we can put it up to 100 and normally it would be something like 80 so as well as long as we have the pro version we can put it as 100 and then click on download and look what will happen so here it's gonna take a little bit of time and there we go the image is actually now downloading and we can click here and we should have it you see the quality of it uh, there is no pixels looks pixelated pictures there's no pixelated pixelated text everything is looking clean and good uh, nothing has changed or the quality of the image hasn't decreased at all which is very very good now for you in case in case guys you would like to create one from scratch well first of all you need to understand some fundamentals which has the web binder poster uh, what's the size of it so first of all uh, we should search in google for the size so how to make a web poster what size should the zoom web binder cover be so 640 40 pixels and 200 or uh, 1280 in a 1280 so let's do that so let's click on here create a design and after that I'm going to go with customize so custom uh, let me just search custom uh, we can yeah here we go so it's it's here right and basically here I'm going to write uh, AT and copy it paste it here and create new design and there we go so now we can create here the design that we want we can add here whatever pictures and we can literally drag the uh, elements of another webinar picture for example webinar here and we can drag elements from this picture into our main picture we can move them around do whatever thing we would like to do or simply go back to our blank page and start drawing things drawing elements we can draw here pictures for example this is the circle where we're gonna draw something in it um, let's make the color for example in pink or this one we can make another uh, circle which is smaller in another corner here uh, in a different shade of color so there is a lot of things that you can actually play with and use to make your webinar stand out and be the best out there. So hey guys, this is it. Thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial.